Wrestling Podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Johnny Leroy. And as always, we got our local horror expert, the myth, the legend, the horror man, Jim Jam. What up, Jim Jam? What's going on, guys? Hey, guys. And uh, we got a good show for you today, but we're going to be putting stuff out live on Twitch from now on, right? Yeah. And uh, what else are we doing? Uh, SoundCloud. Stitcher Radio, iTunes, uh, Google, Google Play. Play. Uh, just check check it out anywhere. YouTube's, of course. You know yeah. we'll have the recording up if that's where you want to get it from. But hopefully, eventually we'll, we'll do video. Eventually. Eventually. But that way, the YouTube page is there. So away we go. Yes, we have a special guest, uh, owner of Slaughterhouse actress well done some acting and just pretty much all around everything <laughs> stacy dixon how are you stacy hey good how are you johnny oh well, doing doing great actually and uh so y'all y'all have a pretty busy coming up with uh even though it's christmas time and the holidays y'all are, y'all are planning on doing a new year's eve hunt correct that is correct um we plan on doing we're playing salem's light at seven and then at the haunt will be open from 8 to 10 p.m. And then we're going to do like a DJ in the theater from 1030 to around midnight. And then we're doing the Rocky Heart Picture Show shadow casting. Oh, wow. Yeah. So that's and you're talking about at the, the full moon Cineplex, which is pretty much all in one area. You got the haunt you got the full moon Cineplex, and you got one wolf tattoo. Yes. That's correct. So, like, if people go, that's what I've always said is you can go enjoy a haunt, a movie, and get a tattoo. <laughs> For sure. And, and dinner, <laughs> right? You... Yeah, we do uh, the dinner and the movie as well. And uh, it's Friday and Saturday night, so the dinner is at 6, and then the movie starts at 7. So, it's it's kind of a cool little deal. It's different. Not a whole lot of that going on around here, so... Oh, no, definitely not. So how's how's that going with the, the Cineplex? It's going really good. Um, you know, Ben and I, we had never done anything like that before. So it was kind of a different adventure, and we opened it the same time that we opened The Haunt this season. And so we were, like, super, super, like, busy. And But it turned out great, and it's a lot of fun, and people really seem to enjoy it. Yeah, I think it, like, just adding something extra to the community, even, you know, the horror community, I guess you would say, something new and fresh, especially with your showing just the older movies that, like it was said, you, you won't get to see in theaters again pretty much anywhere. Which yeah, is, there's a lot of people that, you know, they come out and they're just so excited because they've never seen, you know, a certain movie on the big screen. So it, it's really it's really cool and the words getting out and you know it's just something different we don't play just horror films we play different genres as well um we've kind of catered just a little bit to uh christmas this season so we're doing like home alone and um the christmas story this weekend oh home alone weekend. would be fun to go see on a big screen yeah, yeah. i mean that'd People be fun. Pretty excited about it and a christmas story you know you only get to watch that like well it's on for 24 hours though when, you know, it's always playing in the background at everybody's uh, Christmas parties. Yeah. So it'd be good to focus on it instead of sitting there watching pieces of it. Like, when I grew up, I never watched the whole movie. Like, I hadn't seen the the whole movie through until, like, two years ago. Really? Like, sit down and watch the whole thing. I always caught... I've seen the whole movie, you know, bits and pieces. But just never sat down and watched it because it was always on at my grandmother's house. Oh, <laughs> uh, I, I see. You know, it's it grandma's just, house. It's a distraction. Yeah, yeah it just played in loop. You know, it was just like on. It's like, geez, I hated that movie because it was just on for all the time during Christmas. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, it's we try to do something different. You know, Ben and I are both really into the horror genre, um, and so we we try to do something different for everybody else you know, the general public and stuff, but we do have kind of a cult following um, here in Nashville with a lot of horror fans and stuff, you know, because of the full moon tattoo and horror festival and, you know, Ben being a filmmaker and myself being, you know, screen queen and all. So 
it just kind of all works out and you know but we just try to do something different sometimes and not just stick with a stick with a horror genre well there's nothing wrong with that i mean because i mean get outside the box and you know find something new but yeah what y'all have done for the horror community though in nashville is pretty huge i mean with the 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 horror festival and everything bringing people in and being able to meet you know their horror icons i guess you could say is a pretty great deal and and this year with haunt con coming up and being in nashville i mean that's got to be exciting for everyone up there that owns a haunt yeah we're pretty excited about it um it's actually going to be fun because we haven't like been part of a haunt and not a haunt excuse me a convention without running it for many years now because we we would travel and go to different you know horror conventions but we just we're so busy and tied up with you know family stuff and then just being business owners and trying to run a business so it's actually going to be pretty cool that we we're not going to be running the show you know we oh, yeah. kind of sit back a little bit we we're still involved because of um the touring for slaughterhouse on january 30th through the haunt con so but it's still going to be nice not have to to do all the the work that goes involved in putting on a convention yeah we can't get a no word back from them yet i'm definitely well, hoping to uh well if not be set well, up there then we're going to definitely go to the or participate in it like yeah go around see all the haunts especially y'all's yeah for sure i mean um they probably are like just swamped right now and you know i'll speak to someone probably this week so i you know i'll check and see if they have anything available yeah we was trying to get just something like we had at the um at y'all so the, the horror at? festival just set up outside the door we yeah just something you know where we can just you know yeah because we're not trying to sell anything we're yeah. just trying to promote yeah. i understand i get it and plus you know because we want to help try to promote local haunts just as much as anybody else does in this area and want to be known for it you know helping promote haunts and getting yeah for sure because everybody needs help everybody needs help <laughs> that is the truth <laughs> i mean you know and try to keep the community together and just pushing forward yeah, be one big happy family, for sure. So, um, you do all the makeup at uh, for Slaughterhouse, or do you do a lot of it? Or, um, I do not do all the makeup for Slaughterhouse. When Ben and I purchased Slaughterhouse a few years back, we um, it was just me and another makeup artist that did the makeup, and then last year we kind of branched out and had a couple more artists come on, and then this past season. We had, uh, there was four of us that did makeup, but I do, you know, every night do makeup for Slaughterhouse and have since the beginning, because that's what got me into this whole situation in the first place was, <laughs> you know, I went to Savini school and I was a makeup artist and wow. that's how Ben and I met. So, <laughs> Savini school, where did you have to go to the, did they have one in Nashville or? No, no, it's like, um, it's about 20 miles south of Pittsburgh. Oh, wow. The Tom Savini uh, special effects makeup program. I bet that was. Uh, does, does he teach it? Um. Or does he have some? I guess a teacher, pretty much. Yeah, he has several different teachers. When I went there, I was the fourth class that ever went there. Like, it was a brand new school, oh, pretty wow. much. And it's, you know, it's gotten expanded. It's bigger. And um, but he was there from time to time. But yeah, he had uh, teachers. You know, he had. You know several instructors and and you know, teaching different sculpting classes and you know stuff like that and but it was a really cool experience that's for sure um, yeah he's definitely one of the greats in the makeup industry right oh yeah he definitely is for sure i mean you gotta think you know he worked with uh george romero and i live dead not that you know you look now and the makeup was you know decent but back then you know that was cutting edge and you know, George Romero brought zombies to life, and so did Tom Savini. So it's pretty cool. That is pretty on top cool. of uh, we're doing the the convention, uh, I say it's got to be pretty cool to be 
getting to be able to meet all the actors and just icons and and everything because all the ones we've met uh, you know last year super super nice people yeah you know ben and i we, we really strive to try to get some really cool guests that are really nice and really good with the fans because that makes a huge difference for people's experience when they come out and so this this past year we that was you know our goal is to have the 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 coolest personalities there the people that are really fun and and it it has been a pretty neat experience i think i'm just kind of used to it by now like it's i guess it's not like a big huge deal to me you know it's like oh yeah they're cool yeah you know um but yeah i mean it's it's cool and i guess sometimes people take those things for granted i guess it's pretty much it's like you've met quite a few actors and everything so it's like it's not as big like you see an actor and it's not like you don't get a star struck yeah anymore, right that's what yeah no i don't get star struck you know all um, right who recently have you like who like when you invited someone on who was you just super duper excited to have and to meet super it, duper excited <laughs> to have and meet and you're talking about here recently or just, or just all it, it all together oh. just um all together, I guess Norman Reedus. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he was he was really cool because of his um his like star power. Yeah. And and he's such he's such a cool guy. Like, and he's so good with fans and and just people just line up. You know, it's like for days just to meet the guy. But he's but he's super cool. So I guess that was probably the the most excitable. Thing, you know. Yeah, he's definitely uh he would he's liable to start a riot if they kill him off the walking dead. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're gonna kill him or read it off. They have like a change dot org petition up. <laughs> <laughs> Something crazy. But um what year was that that he was there? I It's like three years ago, wasn't it? Yeah, I've only been to two <laughs> full moon and I haven't been able to go till two years ago. It was, I think, 2000 and, oh, 14. Okay. It was about and three 15, years. Yeah, I he was there two years in a row. Oh, yeah, okay. So I say it's a lot more difficult to get them, get anybody off that show nowadays, isn't it? It is. You know, um, a lot. There's a lot of conventions that have kind of opened up to and kind of flooded the market. So. A lot of these people are super busy. Yeah, they're super busy, and then they're kind of like in contract with certain yeah. shows at this point. Uh, you know, they yeah. get some contracts. <laughs> Kill them for everybody else. Contracts. Can't blame them. Y'all gonna have to put some contracts out there and compete with them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we try. We do oh, our yeah. best. That's for sure. Oh yeah, we we love it. And, was it the year before last when y'all had it at the Nashville? Was the new one? The big one? The just yeah. opened the center. Yeah, that was. Uh, how how was that for y'all? Um, it was it was different. You know, uh, we had been at the old convention center and we really loved it. The the vibe, and the atmosphere really worked really well, and you know we kind of went with the MTAC with that too. We all worked together and it was just a, a great and fun atmosphere. It was a little different. Um, the space is huge yeah. for one thing. Yeah. And yeah. it's it's a little harder for people to find where they're going, you know, which space, what ballroom or, you know, exhibit hall to go to because it's just, it's so big and so massive. Yeah. But, you know, it was neat to be able to be there for sure. Oh yeah. Um, well, I don't know if y'all already know where. You, I guess you probably can't talk about it right now, can you? About where the next one's gonna be. We're still we're still working on that. We've about got it uh, hemmed up, but um, the dates are gonna be changing. Oh yeah, yeah. Ben told us that. I try to yeah. keep that out of the podcast since I don't want to say nothing to <laughs> false yeah. information, anyways. Be, uh, yeah, we just yeah we're just kind of we're not kind of ready to go forth on that one just yet until we have the contracts. Oh yeah, for sure, <laughs> sure yeah to 
So to be continued. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're definitely excited to uh, for all the guest announcements and all that when they start coming out. Oh yeah. And everything. For sure. Oh, I know. We better get some cool ones this time, right? I hope so. I like the last one. Michael could, Berryman was an amazing I, dude. I could pause it real quick and you could spoil us. Jim wants the inside scoop. <laughs> Off the record. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Off the record with Stacy Dixon. Yeah. All, you guys have all the secrets. <clears throat> That'd be awesome. It would, uh, wouldn't it? But yeah, um, um, well, uh, I know you've probably got to get going. You've got people there w- waiting on you so uh we appreciate you coming on and, and talking to us and we hope uh future success especially for the cineplex and just everything all around well thank you very much um yeah we're gonna go and go back in the slaughterhouse and take a look around you lucky yeah, <laughs> <laughs> i don't know I've, i see enough of slaughterhouse i don't know if i'm that lucky <laughs> <laughs> all right well well, we look forward to seeing you. We'll definitely be there New Year's Eve. All right. Thank you, guys, and have a great week. Thank you, Stacy. Talk to you soon. All right. Bye. What did I just? That was Stacy. Yeah. A super nice person. Great all around. Like that's what I was, when I was introducing her. That's why I was just like owner of slaughterhouse. You know, co-owner, actress, dumb modeling, uh, makeup artist. Uh, you know, like just all around everything. Like yeah. she can. She does. She is a busy woman. We appreciate her taking out that time for us. Yeah, definitely. And what her and Ben do for the horror community, if you're not from Nashville and you're hearing this, I mean, it's huge because they bring the people in with the the horror festival, tattoo and horror festival, bring a lot of good tattoo artists too to the local area. Johnny knows he got a tattoo last year. Yeah. I was hoping to, I'm hoping to get another one this year. Add on. But if you hear this, Stacy, sorry for being distracted in the first be- part of it. Super distracted. Yeah. Johnny, don't look at me like that. Yeah. If we have video, guys. Only if you could see the video. Jonathan yeah. rolling his eyes at me. Yeah. But, you know, and like I said, uh, Haunt Con coming up in January. If you're in the local Nashville area, or if, even if you're not, maybe you should come visit and do the Haunt Con. Yes, right? definitely. I mean, that way you tour the haunted houses in, in Nashville. Slaughterhouse is the longest running haunted house in Nashville. Uh, Nashville Nightmare, one of the top, you know, top ten haunted houses in the country, or at least voted that way. Yeah. You know, and even in the USA if, Today voted at number one. And I think that was a fan poll. Okay, well, fans. But either it. way you go with it, it's voted in the top ten or top 15 all around the country. So, so uh, I mean, that's pretty fucking huge. With what you got, yeah, definitely. Uh, so, Nashville definitely has yeah. some. Uh, they're representing haunts. Yeah, they're representing. You know, and like I say, and the full moon cineplex, Friday through Sunday. Get to see movies that you know maybe you were too young to see in theaters, so you or know. maybe you just wasn't born yet. Yeah, that too. Your favorite movies, you know, you just got to check them out at uh, I guess full moon cineplex dot com. Yeah. 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 Well, yeah. of course, you know, we'll link all that in the description. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, it's pretty entertaining. Then. And, of course, after that, we have the Conoga in February. Yep. That will be there, hosting a couple panels. We didn't talk about that. Uh, Jim Jam got us into. Jonathan's scared to death. <laughs> I'm not scared. I might not be there for one of them, so I don't know. Well, um,. Jim Jam, we're gonna have to take all it. alone. He's gonna be like, oh, my, my yeah, it's just Johnny singing. That's what um, he's gonna be like, guys. Well, we need to bring it back to December sixteenth and seventeenth. Um, National Nightmare has Krampus. Oh yeah, the Krampus uh, event. We will be there. Yes, yes, yes. Hopefully, it's not raining like it has been all freaking the last few days. Yeah. Make it up for all that rain it, that, that drought. we didn't have the drought. It's, it's, like it's a, cold rain here in Tennessee. It's fucking cold. <laughs> no yeah. ice, just cold rain. <laughs> Tennessee weather. Yeah, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Yeah, the uh, the Krampus event is gonna be 
Friday and Saturday. Yeah. It's gonna right. be it's uh, it's gonna be pretty damn cool. And then uh New Year's Eve uh, Slaughterhouse of course yeah. has their their event. So. They're gonna be showing Salem's light. Between, lot. Right? Salem's, Salem's lot. Well lot. Sorry, I think hard to hear over there with the you know when she was talking and then he was fucking around with the laptop oh my bad sorry yeah sorry so it was like 8 to 10 10 30 DJ I don't have in there if you go get the haunted house oh wait 8 to 10 is the, the haunted house that's right Sam's so lot will be shown at 7 yeah so and then at midnight they're showing the Rocky Horror Picture Show well, hell yeah! So definitely need to go check that out. Yeah, spend that your New Year's, uh, spend your New Year's Eve with the awesome people at a uh, Full Moon Incorporated uh, or whatever. Yeah, Lone Every, Wolf. Yeah, everything they are. They, there's a lot of things they do. Full Moon Entertainment. <laughs> yeah. The but, Full uh, Moon Complex is what it should be called. Complex. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, come on, the haunted house, movie. Tattoos. Is that a complex? No, it's a cineplex. I'm saying it, but it could be called the Full Moon Complex. Com- complex, okay. That's everything's in. I got your nose. Anyways, eh, I'm all distracted. Throw this pencil at you and hit you in the head with it. <laughs> Beaver. <laughs> Stab <Yeah. it. laughs> Anyways. Anyways, back on track. Oh, um, I had some stuff wrote down what we was going to talk about. Ooh. Oh, go ahead and bring this up since all the craziness happened in Gatlinburg. Uh, mysterious Mansion was not affected. Well, that's good. So, when... Uh, what is when Mysterious that, Mansion? It's a, a year-round haunt in Gatlinburg. Oh. It's been there for 35 years. Oh, yeah. I know what you're talking about now. Yeah. Yeah, it's... Uh, luckily... Is it, it in Gatlinburg? Gatlinburg? Yeah, it's in Gatlinburg. Okay. Um... You know, it sucks for everything that, you know, everybody that did lose in you know, their lives. Yeah, that's a bad uh, deal right there. A bad deal. Yeah. Um, everybody that lost their lives and then people lost. Homes. Homes. Businesses. Businesses, yeah. But uh, the ones that did survive, you know, they're. Rebuilding. They're, they're rebuilding and uh, moving, getting back to the greatness of Gatlinburg. You know, I'm sure Johnny's been there. I've been to Pigeon Forge. No, okay. Well, I've been to Gatlinburg, and I um, haven't yet been the Mysterious Mansion, but I'm making the I've, point. I've been to the poor man's Gatlinburg, and that's called Pigeon Forge. <laughs> well, they, all you, it's not like you got to stay in Gatlinburg. I'm just saying. You uh, didn't, that's the poor man's Gatlinburg. I'm well, you not, didn't drive to Gatlinburg? No. Why? I wasn't a, I wasn't wealthy enough. You ain't got to be wealthy to go there. I barely could afford to go. I mean, I'm not living in luxury, live, living in Gatlinburg. Like Jim Jam over here, just you know, balling, shot calling. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, uh, but for real, it's not the poor man's Gatlinburg. It's the same thing. It's just Gatlinburg has one thing, and Pigeon Forge on the other side. Both of them are really great places. Yeah, so uh, we're gonna definitely try to go check out the my- mystery, mystery, mysterious mansion. Yeah, tongue tied. So. Uh, that's what somebody was telling me. Like, really Definitely need to when they start getting open. They're open 24. They're open all year, so. Yeah. Um, when they do open back up, people should definitely, you know, I know they Help already. Help support. They already get plenty of visitors yearly. But uh, they definitely should help them because they're going to, it's going to probably take a lot of time. To, It'll be a while because, I mean, a lot of people went for the the atmosphere. You know, you got all the trees. The and mountains. The, the mountains and, and sucks. Now it's gonna look like cabins you know, are I'm burnt. Sure, I'm sure it looks like a a wasteland. Yeah, so I mean, it's gonna be different. And from what I understand, this is started by a human. Yeah, of course. Person. Most forest fires are. So yeah, do, do they have them in custody? I doubt it. But you probably won't never catch who did that. I mean, that's a, even out west. But a lot of them fires that happen, person. Yeah. Just someone well, that likes to watch the world burn. Well, I believe karma will catch up with these people. Oh, I mean, hope, I mean, you know, it's just bullshit. People don't listen to smoke. I mean, I'm not making a joke. It's just true, you know. Yeah. A lot of people do start these fires, and it was a drought season. 
when somebody wants to be an asshole or just as an accident you know they got a fire burning they don't want to put it out it's just like and the next thing you know the shit just takes off and uh, said winds got up to 90, 90 miles an hour yeah so so that's spreading like a wildfire literally yeah so I mean yeah. it is it's the perfect storm so but they'll recover everything will be good yeah, it'll take it's just time. quite a while but uh Gatlinburg will get back to its greatness what it was oh yeah yeah that's looking like uh, that's all we got for y'all guys yep and if you're listening to us on twitch we appreciate you oh yeah uh got a little behind the scenes stuff yeah yeah oh yeah a little a little you probably you know I don't know how long Jim Jam keep it up and running, but whatever. You'll probably hear me do an outro that will be covered up on the YouTubes and the SoundClouds and the if we keep it up for the yeah, outro. Well, this damn hat, whatever I use to live stream keeps on disconnecting. Oh, well, hell. Fucks, that's why that noise was being made earlier. When she, it was. I Is mean, there anybody even listening to us on Twitch? Yeah, it says two. Two? Yep, two. Four. Four? Well, damn, they just like, logged on. Well, hey, guys. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Sorry you missed. But, but uh, yeah. Um, we're, we're, we're done now. Yeah. Well, I guess you can hear Johnny do his outro. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Go ahead and do your outro. What are you talking about? We're done. So we're done? That's how we outro? Yeah, we're done. That's not how we outro, bitch. Well, that's all we got for you. We out. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Peace. <laughs> we gonna keep all that. Do you hear that shit, guys? <laughs> Johnny here, I swear. Anyway, like, subscribe, share, follow us on everything. Anything you can think of, we got it. Jim Jam, he will, he will take pictures with his little baby blue. Tennessee Horror News shirt for you if that's what you want. <laughs> if you want that, request it, Instagram it to him. He will personally take pictures for you of that. Of his baby blue V neck shirt, guys. The blue the blue one is not V neck. Oh my bad. My bad. <laughs> the blue one is not V neck. Oh my god. That's only the red and black one. <laughs> might get a blue one, man. That's <laughs> To give you something to talk about. It's gonna be the it's gonna be the food you be now. <laughs> oh, yeah. Almost man, man, goodness. We out.